Good afternoon. Welcome to the Lord Blake TV show. And today's topic is, if it was that easy, everybody would do it. So, the ones that are able to escape the rat race, they deserve a ear and an eye. Like, they, this is, at a certain point, ain't no such thing as luck. This is all about manifestation and proper planning and discipline and pure hard work and sticking to your plan like i'm about to turn up the um volume i'm let's let's face it i'm, I'm a bag of nails i like to smile and i like i don't want to harm no one i don't want nothing bad to happen for folks i want folks to be financially Stray, I want them to catch on. I want them to work their plan, plan their work. But I can't do it for them. See what I'm saying? So, all I can do is give you the proper reminders. Because I'm, I'm, not, I'm not giving you anything you don't already know. I'm letting you know, like, man, don't forget to, you know, get, have a goal list and kind of a weekly, you know, goal projections and stuff like that like don't forget to stay on yourself you know like if you don't stay on yourself who we i'm assuming you're over 18 so you're you're not a child you know, like my channel is not for children like i'm trying to i mean at, at the same time a, a child can understand what i'm saying but i am trying to help people in the working field you know, if you're if you if you're old enough to work, you're old enough to create your own business. Now, pick one. You know, you I have no problem with a person working. I've I know people that work uh, nine to fives and live. People, this is the thing: you work for what you need. So if you don't need much, you don't work that much. That's kind of that. Now, if you want a lot of stuff and this, that, and the other, now you're on the entrepreneur side and you're trying to, you know. Uh, you're trying to move in some quantum time. You trying to, you know, you you ain't trying to, you ain't trying to wait ten years to get the Bugatti, you know. So, I would say, you know, you pick your poison and you work for what you need. Not, you know, like, like some people, you, you you're simple. If you had all this money, what would you do with it? You know, damn. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, road right there. I stay over on my roads, you know, how that go. I'm, I'm over on the road. But dig, um, yeah, I had a, 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 a conversation with one of my, one of my business, uh, one of my team, team purple, et cetera. And, um, I was, I was saying like, I wouldn't even know what to do with 17 bedrooms. Like I'm a simple person. Like I'm a very, you know, I'm a, I'm a uh, log cabin house in the middle of nowhere, but, you know, like an hour away from some, some nice big town and I can go and uh, paint, if you will. So some people, are, what are you working for? What are you looking for? What did you have in mind? You know, because like I see people that are not putting in effort, but they won't. Damn that damn screen door. They want more things than the person that's putting in work and work, work, don't stop in it and all this stuff like that's actually got a job. Like if you don't have a job and you call yourself wanting more than the people that got a job. How does that even equate? Like how do you that's not no logical um want. Because you might be wanting somebody to hand that to you because I'm telling you right now, I'm, I'm speaking from the bottom going up. You know, that's all I know. I know I can only see above, but from below. So you're going to have to work really hard for that. And then maybe a, most of the times a regular nine to five won't do it to uh, obtain this like, you know, uh, the 30 foot pontoon boat and house over on the river and this, that, and the other. That sounds like um, that retirement money. That sounds like that work real, real, real hard money or uh, entrepreneur money. There's no getting around it. If you're sitting on the couch just thinking things are going to just change, you, you, 
you kind of blowing smoke up your own ass. And I'm not, I'm turning up the, um, the volume. I'm tired of babying, folks. I don't, I don't, I ain't got time for that. You dig? Like, I didn't get here by accident. Um, people act like they don't want to listen. I'm not going to beg you to listen to me. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to keep it moving. Like, there's going to be some bad, like, there's people that are robust like me that, that can identify with the stuff and the strategies and the, you know, all the, uh, the diamond of opportunity university, there's going to be people. I'm just going to have to keep it moving. Like, I'm not going to beg. I'm not going to ask you more. I'm not going to ask you more than once to jump on the train to, uh, you know, to financial freedom. Cause I like on this channel, I'm thinking we, 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 we shoot the shits, a little bit of giggles, a lot of financial literacy, you know, a, a lot of hacks, a lot of tips. And, and, and one of the biggest tips is pure knowing what you're doing, like knowing what you about to do. Do you have a plan? You got to have a plan. And then you can't, I'm seeing people plan to fail. Your plan cannot involve you depending more on the government or any of that. You supposed to independence. It's independence is a cold blooded thing because it gives you the audacity and the um it, it, it helps you think straight. You know, I, I see a lot of people they ain't can't even think straight because they don't know how to deal without Big Brother giving them a couple dollars to make this right or whatever right. You know, like I ain't a lot ground up. I remember I ain't had a pair of draws. Like, it's been some days. It's been some nights. That's why, like, when I be seeing people go through the things they be going through, I feel like, I, hell no, I do not want to see them suffer. But at the same time, that suffering creates a way out of whatever s situation that is. Like, if you sitting there and ain't eating correctly and you don't get up off your ass and try to get some more to eat, now... This is a self-inflicted um thing. You, 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 you see where I'm going with this? So I no longer have any mercy for um people that are just letting um and they got a good working mind and a good working two arms, you know. And there's a lot of jobs that can be done just uh with mental tasks, whatever, you know. But they, they, these people are, are physically um able and mentally able. You know, and I cannot no longer. Um, I never subscribe to that. As you can see, I always, um, you know, entrepreneurship for me. But I, I have no problem with the working man. Um, and I will work if I had to, you know, and I have no problem with someone that's doing what they got to do to provide for their family. Like, I thought that's what this is about. Like, low key, my like one of, one of my agendas is family, man. If you ain't like putting yourself in position to be able to help your family, it's kind of like what are you hurting your family? Like I know I got family members that are, uh that's hurting each other purposely. Like if you and, and it's like man, damn, dog, I thought y'all knew better. Like and then I'll be trying to breathe with them. I just gotta keep it moving before I get caught up in that. You know I don't want that for nobody. You know what I'm saying? So it's just it's just it, it's weird out here. You gotta move. You got a uh, you got moonwalk around here. Moonwalk forward, you dig? So it is is a uh, a tight fight. You you find the ones that want to um work with you and, and build and and got a vision and want things in life, and and that's rare, not rare. I would say, I would speak on like, not everybody has ideas. Now that's now this is why I say it's rare, because everybody's got ideas. But I would say only out the hundred percent, twenty percent of these folks with all these elaborate ideas and all that actually get off the couch and go make shit happen. Like, okay, look at that. Okay, I got the shirts for sale. You dig everything purple? This is the first. Um, only about a about a hundred of these are gonna be made. You dig? So get your first honey because I'm going to do another design switch to let you know that this this ain't that. So, and you know, these going to be worth money. I got the hoodies. I got the Eric. I got uh, uh, Joiner Investment uh, beanies. 
And I got the everything purple, purple uh logo with the purple with the gray shoes. Yeah, we decided to go with the gray shoes. And then the red boy, the red uh flex 45 guy with the uh yellow shoes. I don't know if you can see it, but you'll see it if you uh peep my link in below once I get that all uh situated. All this stuff is like from the ground up is so it's so it's so much work. Believe it or not, like none of this is people may make this shit look easy. Man, this shit is not hard coming straight from the bottom and not having no majors or no like man, all my funding coming straight from my investments. Like I am not um accepting, you know, yeah, I got a little bit of other people's money, but for the most part, I don't I, I do all mine myself. Like my money's coming from me. And it's I, I I'm you know, I would like some sponsors like, hey, anybody would like to sponsor me and, you know, further your uh, and, you know, you're going to get return on your investments, you know, uh, get with me. You know, I do uh, a little bit of this and a little bit of that, you know, so definitely uh, trying to step my mindset coaching up. So if you want some uh, basically you need some hacks and uh, basically, OK, I can tell you these hacks, but then I got I can. Like when when you do the uh the course and you uh deal with me one on ones, I get to breaking it down because like everybody's situation is different. See what I'm saying? Like okay, this boy might be a playboy. This mug might be a lap dog. This mug might be um a good working Joe dude. And this one may be like a uh other need he need to go get him a check. Like he's sitting there ain't even making no money and ain't even doing nothing and nothing. Uh this one etc. See what I'm saying? And so. It's not, um, it's, you would have to break it down and everything ain't good for everybody. See what I'm saying? So you would have to know what's good for your type of lifestyle, you know, and that's kind of where the one-on-ones and the consultations come in. But, you know, who am I to know? I I don't know. I just, hey, maybe I don't know. I just didn't done that. I've been there and done that. That's why, see, with me, I didn't say nothing at first i say i ain't say nothing until i was like 24 yes i was uh rapping here and there and this that and the other and this that and the other but i didn't say nothing until i actually did something because then like when someone call you be like man what you have you done what is you um what you call be like hey man i'm um a freak of nature i'm a financial macgyver like i um clearly uh bought my neighborhood and I worked my ass off ever since I was 16 and I'd saved my money up and I um, made my money work for me. So when I be speaking on stuff, I can um, back it up. And I got financial statements and, and multiple businesses and, you know, just things rocking and rolling. And I, uh, I'm delighted and I love it, you know, and now I'm in a position where I can teach it because it, it ain't that hard. It's, a, it's not that hard, really. It's really proper planning and some other things that you know you're gonna get you know i'm gonna give you everything right here and there but keep rocking with me i'm gonna keep uh giving you jewels uh hacks financial hacks there's a uh, thirty-one thousand grand i'm trying to uh whip up real quick uh 